will be settled in a house with either a baby on the way or a baby already. Any more news on my cookbook? So, losing weight's bad and you should love yourself how you are and you don't want to change and da 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 and I feel like it's quite toxic. Just go like head first into it. Like so boring. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be filming a very chill video. We're just gonna be getting ready, sorting out my makeup and yeah, having a little bit of a chat. I asked you guys some questions on Instagram. I asked you guys to give me some questions on Instagram and yeah, you followed through. So we're gonna get ready. We're gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna show you some of the products I've been really loving at the moment and some of the skincare. My skin looks like I've been, like I've moisturized and like I have, you know, been on a workout or something, I look sweaty, but there's genuinely like a glow to my skin. I've got some angry blemishes, but apart from that, like my skin is really good at the moment. It feels really kind of even. It's very, very glowy. I've got myself a little Starbucks drink and yeah, let's just get cracking. So before we start with the questions, I'm just gonna go over what I've been using for skincare. Now there is a couple of skincare bits that I use at night that genuinely I think is the reason that my skin is so glowy. So if you want me to do like an Instagram reel or a TikTok or something on that, then let me know. But during the day, I just use two things to be honest. This, which is the La Roche Pose Efficlar Duo and the Ren Glow and Protect Serum. So I just put this on first and then the serum on top. Let's do that now. I'm so bad with eye cream and stuff. When I remember to use it, it's amazing. But that's usually at night, not during the day. So let's get in with the questions. Have you got any holidays planned? I actually haven't. Uh, this year is more about focusing on getting everything together and saving up rather than splurging on holidays to be honest um, and then just some serum on top so yeah no holidays planned that doesn't mean we won't be going on any but just nothing planned as of right now okay how do you beat anxiety about starting the gym i'm so anxious about going for the first time okay so this is something that genuinely i kind of had quite low key i wouldn't say too crazy i was somewhat familiar with the gym beforehand anyway so it wasn't like super super daunting for me but i didn't necessarily know all the machines i wasn't super like confident in my like finding my way around the gym so for me that was something that genuinely was a little bit i was a little bit i wouldn't say scared i feel like scared is a bit too you know strong i wasn't scared but i definitely was a little bit nervous so i think what i did to kind of combat that was just go like head first into it uh, for my base i'm using the laura mercier tinted moisturizer natural skin perfecter in blush i've been absolutely loving this at the moment it gives such a nice radiant finish so yeah i just kind of went head first and decided that I didn't know anything about the gym, so I might as well, I'm in the right place, I'm in the gym already. And Emma's Rectangle, who I've been kind of doing workout program kind of alongside, we kind of do it alongside each other. Uh, not in the same gym or anything, just the same kind of program. So I kind of had, um, like a predetermined program, I feel like that helped. Know exactly what you're doing in the gym before you go in the gym, because I felt like when I didn't know, I'd go in there and I'd get so overwhelmed because there's so many machines, there's so many people doing what they're doing, they know what they're doing and you kind of feel like, oh my God, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what these machines do and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like having a predetermined plan of what you're doing before you go into the gym definitely help. And another thing I find that helps is if you don't know how something works, just ask ask someone at the gym, like a PT or a staff member that's going around, or just Google it. There's a lot of things in the gym that I don't know what they do, what muscles they target, how I should be using it, different exercises. If I see someone doing something, I'll just kind of like describe it on Google and I'm like, oh, I wanna do that. So I just describe it in words and then, and then Google it and then try it out myself. So I feel like just trying to be independent with your workouts is really important. Yeah, just be that little bit more proactive. Yeah, I guess that's kind of how I did it and don't know if that's even helpful but hopefully it is. One thing that really helps when I'm having a bad day, oh my god, the thing that helps me most when I'm having a bad day is going for a bath. I like painting. Sorry I'm just getting rid of all these little 
pesky baby hairs that keep on getting in my foundation. What else do I like doing? Uh, spending time with Dan really helps me when I'm having a bit of a rubbishy day. If Dan's not around or if he's at work or if he's busy or whatever, I like to watch like a show that I really like. Very much like a distractor. Um, when I don't feel great, I just like to distract myself and I tend to think that helps because most of the time when I don't feel good, it's because I'm overthinking something or, you know, I'm just, I've not woken up in a brilliant mood or something like that. So yeah, that is what helps me. And then I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer and it's in the shade 2W. I will link all of this makeup down below as well, guys. So if you do like any of the bits and bobs that I'm using, then it will be linked below for you. Oh my God, look at that bit. I've just completely missed out. The thing with this tinted moisturizer is it's so, it's not like a foundation, it's, it's a literal tinted moisturizer. So if you don't cover your whole face, it doesn't, you can't really tell that much, but you've missed a bit, do you know what I mean? It's not like a foundation where you obviously missed a bit. I'm also just gonna take it down my neck because it is quite warm and it does oxidize a little bit. I also need to fresh fake tan. Look at the color of my hands in comparison. My hands literally wash off so quickly. That's it there. This is such a good question. Do you gym to lose weight or gym to stay healthy? Now, once upon a time, that question probably would have been quite triggering for me, but the answer is both. I think what I have realized from the last like year or so is that you're allowed to say that you're going to the gym to lose weight. Like, I feel like there's a massive stigma around people saying that, that losing weight's bad and you should love yourself how you are and you don't want to change and da 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 and I feel like it's quite toxic. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my beauty blender. Mini beauty blender if I need my hand. Yeah, I feel like it's quite toxic because for me personally, I'm going to the gym to lose weight, but losing weight is a, is a motivation for me because I want to be the healthiest best version of myself and that means not being overweight and I don't know it's not it's not the same for everyone and I appreciate that but for me overweight is not the peak of my healthiness and being overweight is not not healthy do you know what i mean not to say that when you're overweight you can't be healthy but it's not the healthiest possible state your body can be in and for me that is my ultimate goal gymming to stay healthy and to lose weight because those two things are the same essentially for me uh the next question do you and dan see yourself living in the uk and for how long that is such a good question both of us are quite fluid with our approach to life i'd say we both kind of want to experience new things new cultures and i think a lot of people don't move abroad because they're like what if i don't like it and the answer that dan and i always have to things like that is but well, what if you do and even if you don't you can just move back like you can literally just move back it is genuinely as simple as that so yeah just gonna put some on the little blemishes that I have. My eyes are really watery at the moment and they keep getting like really bloodshot, it's really annoying. So yeah, we have plans. We don't have like specific set in stone plans, like we're gonna move to this place on this day, but we do, we're both aware that we don't really wanna stay in the UK, whether it's long term or just for the next few years. Uh, we're not 100% sure yet. So, I mean, that was kind of a rubbish answer to a good question, but we're not super keen on staying in the UK, but we're not sure where that other place is yet, if that makes sense. What is yours and Dan's favorite thing to do together? Okay, well, I can obviously only speak from my perspective because I'm not Dan. My favorite thing to do with Dan is eat. <laughs> We literally love food and it's so funny because other people are starting to notice how much we love food now. Uh, next thing we're gonna use is the clean chubby stick. Absolutely love this. Just trying new foods together. Yeah, I just feel like food is such a good way to bond. I absolutely love like flavors, textures, just kind of like experiencing new things together. I think is so much fun. If we were in a different country and there was sea involved, I think my favorite date or thing to do together would be swimming in the pool or in the sea, like abroad, because when we're on holiday, I, I just absolutely love when we go swimming together. So I feel like that is my favorite thing. In terms of where we are right now, I'd say my favorite thing to do is go out to eat and like experience new restaurants and stuff together. So I literally just buff this chubby stick out and I go over like some areas with concealer again, just to kind of brighten them up like underneath here looks quite patchy. And I go over that with concealer in a little bit. What was my first car? I think that's a really good question. I don't know if I've ever been asked that before, you know. My first car, as in the first car that I drove was a Volkswagen Fox which our, our granny gave to us. I say us, it was me and Katie. And we shared that car to begin with. Then after that, our parents bought a Clio, a Renault Clio. And that car was so nice to drive. I actually really loved driving that car. It was very nippy. It was really good. But the first car I bought for myself was an Audi Q3 and I absolutely flipping loved it. 
but it was an absolute money drain. Like, I am not joking, that car drained the money from my bank account. So I got rid of it because it was just so expensive and so unnecessarily expensive as well. So yeah, that car, when I think it was last year, this big spot is really irritating me. I don't really know what to do with it. So we're just gonna keep looking at this side and ignore the other side. Again, this hand, face, different tones, really irritating. But here we go. The next question is a bit of a weird question, but I kind of get where they're coming from. And it is, are you worried people might stop engaging with your content and you'll need a new job? And I think once upon a time, maybe I would have been worried about that. But I think worrying about something that's not happened is so damaging to your health, like your mental health. What is the point in me worrying about that? There's just no, absolutely no point in me worrying about that. And that's not because I'm like, it's absolutely impossible that it's gonna happen. That's not what I'm saying. Like I'm I'm very aware that that's a possibility that it definitely could happen. The, I'll deal with that problem, problem ever arises, if that makes sense. Like there's really no point in me sitting here. I'm just trying to find my eyebrow brush, sorry. There's no point in me sitting here getting my knickers in a twist. Like, oh my God, what if people stop engaging with my content? Like, and I'll have to get a job. Like, then that's what I'll have to do. Do you know what I mean? It's not the only, way we make money or that i make money or that dan makes money do you know what i mean so i think yes whilst it's a possibility it's not something i'm gonna sit and worry about on a daily basis because it's just not it's not happened yet so there's no point in me sitting worrying about it it just doesn't it do, doesn't make sense for me to waste my energy on something that's not happened yet do you know what i mean oh yeah brows brow zings pro palette and i've obviously mixed my foundation well not foundation, uh, tinted moisturizer on the back, but this palette is one's a new one and it's just so nice when they're new. But yeah, this is what I use on my brows. My skin is looking really good, except from these spots. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for an allergy test soon because I had an intolerance test when I was younger and I was intolerant to dairy, like some nuts. And I also have like, it's gonna sound so dramatic, but it literally is so weird. I have like random anaphylactic, anaphylactic reactions sometimes when i say sometimes it's like very very what i just shook the table when i say sometimes it's very very rarely like it's only happened a few times but they don't know the cause of it so i want to go for another like intolerance and allergy testing just just to kind of get it updated because last time i had it done was probably when i was about 15 it was probably about 10 years ago so i want to get it redone just to make sure that there's nothing that I'm eating that I'm like super intolerant to. Now, obviously I have dairy when I used to be intolerant to dairy, but that never used to affect my skin. So I want to know if one, I'm still intolerant to it. And two, if it, if there's anything else that I'm kind of missing out on that could be affecting my skin because it could be hormone, like this, it could be so many things. And they're like big sore spots as well, like they're angry ones. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. So yeah, I just kind of go over my brows with the browsing pro palette really roughly like i am not precise with my brows at all then to make them a little bit more precise and less rough i go in with a little brush because that's i find it easier than being super precise and i'll just take a tiny bit of this rimmel the multitasker concealer i need this in a lighter shade because this is the one that i use when i have my tan on and i swear to god it's like a tart shape tape dupe it's so good but it's just a tiny bit dark so yeah should be okay just for this purpose though so good though honestly such a good concealer kind of shapes them up a little bit and i definitely need them waxed because they are looking a little bit crazy <laughs> the next question is would you do any cleaning videos soon mm, i don't think so i am not an avid cleaner i'm not mrs hinge i've done a decluttering video like i just literally uploaded one not that long ago well it didn't do very well so i don't think people are like super interested in that from me so i don't really i mean if it was something that people were like demanding and you guys really wanted to see me clean then yeah sure but i don't think it's really my uh my thing do you know what i mean i think people there is a lot of people that do cleaning very well and it's their thing and they do nice relaxing cleaning videos but i don't think that's a bit of me so i mean let me know if you'd like to see it but i very much it. So now that I've cleaned my brows up, I add my favourite products, which are three things that I love for my brows recently. The Rimmel Brow Pro Micro Pen. And I literally just use this in the centre and I just feel like it makes them look a tiny bit more fluffy because it gives those individual brush hairs. And this one's a really light shade as well, so it's not like super dark and it doesn't look crazy. Then I use the Rimmel Wonderful Brow 
24 hour brow mascara with fibers and this is literally like a gimme brow dew and i swear to god i absolutely love it i feel like it even might be a little bit more pigmented i just literally it's so good i absolutely love it and i would definitely recommend it rimmel's brow products are really really good i very much rate them so i just go backwards with it just to get the fibers onto the brow hairs and then go forward so now that that's done i use absolute star of the brow show and it's the refi brow skull absolutely love this product i've been using this for well pretty much since it came out when jess sent it to me when she launched i have been using it ever since and i swear by it and i definitely see why everyone hypes over it sometimes i just go a bit crazy with the old uh give me brow jig but yeah honestly this brow combination i just really like it my brows just look super fluffy and full and pigmented and i love it okay the next thing any more news on my cookbook so okay let me get the next product and then we'll talk about that okay so i'm feeling like i need to add some more concealer so let's do that quickly and then we'll answer the question okay i feel like it's definitely looking a lot better now that i've added that concealer and we're kind of a bit more in place so i'm gonna use the laura Mercier translucent powder this is the little mini one it came in like one of the christmas sets but I have the big one too and it's just it, it is an absolute part of me it's an absolute must have in my in my makeup bag for sure okay so with oh my god my neck is in twist okay so with powder i always make sure to stamp out any lines that i have on my eyelids and under eyes before i add powder then i'm just gonna add it with a fluffy brush underneath and on my eyelid okay back to cookbook so i just mentioned this like randomly in a vlog and i just wanted to know whether you guys would be interested in seeing like a cookbook from me like i would literally just make it myself and i mean like not a cookbook like a proper fully fledged cookbook by any means it would literally be like a like an ebook that i'll just make myself yeah i have not got any further with it but i am planning on doing it so i feel like i'll write it and it'll be done sorry by the end of this month i reckon but yeah, I'll obviously keep you guys updated on that because you guys ask me so much about recipes and how much what I eat, uh, portion sizes and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like if I just make a little book, like a like an e-book, like a file that you can download or I can send to you and um, you have all the recipes that, I'm, that I use, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. I just pretty much set my whole face with this. And the reason I love this powder is because it doesn't actually make my face go super matte when I use a brush. If I use a, a beauty blender, then it does. But if I use a brush, then it's not. Yeah, if I use a beauty blender, then I feel like it sets it and it goes super, super matte and like really flawless. But when I just use a brush, I feel like it still gives that like flawless finish, but I'm not like super, super matte, if that makes sense. Like my skin still has a glow to it, which I just really love about this powder. Okay, so the next step is always between two. Now this is a new addition, but I've been really loving it. And it's the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Bronze 03. My old school favorite, something I always go back to, is NARS Laguna Bronzer. It, this is probably like my 10th Laguna Bronzer. I love it. But I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier one today, but just for a little switch up. To be honest, I've been using this more recently. I'm gonna use this little NARS brush. Okay, the next question is, what is your favorite gym day? Legs, upper body or cardio? First of all, I find cardio super boring, like so boring. And leg day used to be my favorite. Like I literally used to love leg day, but I feel like it's because it's always kind of been a strength of mine in comparison to my upper body. It was something I was super familiar with. I knew what I was doing. I'd done the exercises before and that was kind of why I enjoyed it more because it wasn't really like super challenging. Whilst the actual exercise when I like lift or whatever was challenging, the it wasn't mentally challenging in terms of like I did I, I knew what I was doing already if that makes sense. Whereas now I really love the challenge of doing something that I perhaps I'm not like fully schooled in. So arm days and upper body days are now my favourites. I absolutely love them. Did one last night and I just thoroughly enjoy them. Like I genuinely feel like I'm really pushing myself. I'm really kind of stepping out of my comfort zone. And just take this on a small brush and do in between here and down my nose a little bit. So, so lightly, like I don't use much at all. And then 
I take this brush, which is Zoe Eva Cream Cheek Blush, brush, blush, brush, and I just use this on like the outer part of my eye, like my hairline, which might seem really weird, but I feel like when I do that, every time I do that, it really lifts my face. So that's what I do. So that's bronze done. I feel like with this light one, I can't exactly see what my makeup looks like. So I could be looking really crazy at this point, but. So next we're gonna go for blush. And this blush I've been using. Oh my God, what have I dropped? Oh, it's just the wrong mic. This blush I've been using for way over six months and I haven't swapped it out yet. And I absolutely love it. And it is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder Blush in that peach though. And it's just the most gorgeous peach color. So that's what I'm using. Next question is, would I consider moving back to Scotland? And I feel like I wouldn't consider it in terms of, because I feel like considering something is quite a purposeful action, if that makes sense. And in that sense, no, I wouldn't consider it because it's not really something that I am thinking about actively right now. But I would say, like, I wouldn't rule it out completely to ever move back there, but I just really doubt that I will. Like, there's not a lot of work things up there. Um, my family are up there, obviously, but Amy's gonna finish uni and I doubt Amy will live up there. And my parents aren't really planning on being in their retirement long-term type thing. So yeah, I don't think there will be much there for me, to be honest. I just absolutely love this blush. I think it is so stunning. Highlighter is just dreamy and it's between two again at the moment i love mac soft and gentle like mac soft and gentle is unreal so this is mac soft and gentle which is just an old school favorite that i have used for years but if i'm not using that then i'm using this and this is steph tom's collaboration with ofra and it's in milk and cookies and it is actually stunning it's so nice you need the tiniest, like I'm talking tiniest bit, and it goes a very, very long way. But I just use a little bit there, a little bit on these high points in my forehead. Oh, see, you just go a tiny bit too crazy, and all of a sudden it's like overpowering everything. It's very, very full on, it's a full on highlighter. And then I pop some in my inner corners because it literally, look at that, it's unreal. So bright, so pigmented. And then under my brow, under my brow is something that I used to do ages and ages ago. I've stopped doing for the longest time. Started doing again and I feel like I can't go back now. And a tiny bit on the bridge of my nose, tiny bit. My face is literally a light up disco ball now, which I love. If you're on I'm a celeb, what would you ask for for your final three course meal? Okay, this is a really difficult question because I feel like it's almost impossible. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes first. Okay, so for starters, it would have to be like calamari or prawns. If you watched my anniversary vlog like my last weekly vlog you'll have seen the prawns that we had at this place called the bank which is a restaurant in north london honestly i cannot explain how good those prawns were and i think i'd probably ask for those exact prawns i don't want one similar i don't want ones that like you've made and they taste the same but they're not the same i want those prawns those prawns were absolutely oh my god they're delicious oh my god they're if you live near or even like a little journey to the bank the b-a-n-c that's what the restaurant's called they are to die for all the food was to die for to be honest but that food was just those prawns oh my god those prawns they were unbelievable what do i have for mains i'm feeling something cheesy i think like maybe like a really good mac and cheese or i really love to be fair i love like roast lamb leg with mashed potato and gravy. Oh my God, yum. So maybe that and then dessert. I'm not a huge, massive dessert person, but, and to be fair, only people that have really watched my channel, watch my channel closely will remember this. But when Dan and I went on a trip to New York and Vermont with Ben and Jerry's, we, we went to the like actual Ben and Jerry's factories and we got to taste like all the little bits that they put in the ice cream individually. And I got to try the marshmallow that was that's in fish food ice cream 
and I loved it so much that they actually got me my a tube of marshmallow that they put in the ice cream and I just ate it and I feel like I would have anything with just that marshmallow on top like do you know what would be amazing like a chocolate cake or a chocolate brownie with like the squeezed like marshmallow it's like marshmallow paste I can't explain it. it's kind of like marshmallow fluff but like marshmallow fluff doesn't even compare like the marshmallow in Ben and Jerry's is just like it's different level like it's so different level so I start with this but this is pretty much ran out I'd say it's my favorite mascara it's benefit roller lash and then I move to a more recent one that I've got and it's the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Again, something I used to use when I was really young, but I really like this mascara because it doesn't transfer and it's the only other mascara apart from Roller Lash that I found that I can use and it doesn't throughout the day transfer on my upper lash or underneath my eye. So yeah, absolutely love it. So it's very specific. So they're gonna have to go on a, on a few like food runs to get my full, my full meal, to be honest. Next question, where do I see myself in five years time? In five years time, the things that are like four front in my mind is that Dan and I will be settled in a house somewhere um our own house not sure where that will be but we'll be settled in a house with either a baby on the way or a baby already so I know I guess I guess that's quite exciting I am so desperate for children I just love I love children I love idea of having kids I just think it's amazing for my lips my lip primer is actually blood and I don't have my sharpener what I usually use is the lip cheat in hot gossip by Charlotte Tilbury I absolutely love it but I don't have a sharpener with me downstairs and I can't bother to go and get one so I'm just gonna do the rest of what I use and I either use this lipstick which I can't actually remember what it's called and it's rubbed off but it's a L'Oreal lipstick or the NYX soft matte lip cream in Cape Town and I'm gonna use this and I feel like this one is so easy to overline anyway like I can just overline with this lipstick I feel like the lip liner does make a big difference though because it does make it a tiny bit darker like this is quite light yeah this is quite light for me and I would usually overline my top lip quite a lot let me see if I can let's see if we can get a little bit out of it I feel like that's much better okay so sometimes I'll leave it like that and just leave it completely matte but today I'm going to use the Rimmel Oh My Gloss in crystal clear Put a clear gloss over and it completely ruins the applicator obviously and it'll probably make this actual gloss quite milky but this clear gloss is just so dreamy i love it there we go okay i brought you a little bit closer just so you can see the makeup a little bit closer up it is super super glowy but very i'd say natural because there's not a whole ton of makeup on but really is very like bronzy and it'd be super it'd be perfect for like summer skin so yeah that is the finished makeup i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a massive thumbs up and if you have any more questions leave them in the comments and i'll get back to you i love reading the comments and going through them and talking to you guys so yeah i'll see you guys in the comments thank you so much for watching like i said all of these products will be in the description so if you want to check any of them out then i'll leave them linked below if you made it this far comment down below zinger just because it's called browsings and that's the first thing i thought of so comment down below zinger if you made it this far thank you so much i love you guys a lot thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye